Hey family, hope you're good. This devotional is from Proverbs chapter 3 from verse 5 and 6, which says, Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge him and he shall direct your path. Um, a different translation says, it will make your path straight and smooth. Yet another one says that it will show you which path to take. These verses are, are part of my anchor verses. They are verses that just remind me of God's goodness and God's plans for my life. They are verses that in the good keep me going and also encourage me to not think I'm now a superstar and can run ahead of God. They are verses that in the low moments where I'm like, God, where are you? What am I going to do? What's going on? I need help. Save me. These are the kind of verses that reassure me that God is there with me. God is holding, my, holding me by his right hand and we're coming through, coming through victorious. <laughs> and these are verses that also in every other moment in life, they are there, you know, every other moment in life. And what is God saying to us in these verses? God is saying to us to have confidence in him with all of our hearts, which simply put means surrender. 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 It says don't rely on what you do. Don't rely on what you know. Don't rely on who you you think you are, or who you are, or who others say, or who, or who other people say that you are. Don't rely on any of that and bring everything. Not some of it. Not fifty percent. Not ten percent. Not twenty percent. Every single thing. Bring it to me, and I will establish you and lead you right. And when I look up my life and I look up my stories, there are moments that I could hundred percent tell you that if God wasn't leading me and establishing me, we wouldn't be where we are today. So this verse is. An anchor verse that I have, I meditate on, I, I remind myself on, I study, I pray about pretty much daily in one way or another. And I would encourage you to do the same. This is why. Because God is saying to you and me every single time, trust me to lead you. So every time I see this verse, I remind myself that God is saying, trust me to lead you. Is someone, why? So why am I stressing? Not that I become lazy and don't do anything, but like, why am I stressing about tomorrow? Because we all want to know tomorrow. We want to know what tomorrow is. We want to know the future. We want to know the near future. We want to know the future's futures. We want it with time and date and everything else in between. But in all of that, God is saying, why are you stressing yourself about that when you could just trust me? And when I think about trust and our lack of trust or use of trust or trusting in general, whichever way you want to put it, I associate the word trust to security what you feel what you you trust what gives you security or you trust what you place your security in so for example if i use this chair my trust is not in this chair before the purpose of the example i trust that this chair will not fall will not let me fall flat on my face every time i sit on it why i sat on it yesterday and it didn't mess up so i need the day before and so i can come to this chair tomorrow and sit on it and know that i will not be on the floor experience is because i know this chair i know this chair tried and tested will not mess and that's the same with god you know when we go through moments where we have to trust god god is not going to manipulate us to trust him the onus is on us to trust him he's not going to force us to trust him although there are moments where i've made decisions in life and i'm just like god why didn't you just drag me it would have just been easier than than all of this and even in those moments god is saying to me trust me to bring you out <laughs> and we thank god you know um you know, and the minute we start knowing God as the healer, the deliverer, the father, the savior, who he, for who he is, who he truly is, we can fully be secure in his word when he says, trust me. So knowing is beyond head knowledge. Knowing is beyond revelation, is, sorry, is beyond reading. Knowing is revelation. Knowing is when, when you read that and that word comes to life. You get a revelation of who God is. You know him. But in order to know him, we need intimacy. So one of the easiest ways to know God is to spend time in his word. To fellowship with him. To fellowship with the Holy Spirit. You will know him that way. Psalm 9 verse 10 tells us that. And those who know your name will put their trust in you. So God is saying trust me. But, before, but for us to fully trust him, we need to know him. You can't trust what you don't know. If someone comes to me right now and says, Tolu, I'm going to give you five million pounds and they're just a random jack on the street i don't know them it'll be very difficult for me to trust them as opposed to someone like um a millionaire that is well known coming to say yes five million, i will give you five million pounds if that makes sense that's not to say they don't have it but 
it's just i don't know them or better still let me say that the millionaire color camouflaged in the in a in a way that made him look like it wasn't that you know and and then him coming to me in the proper way and god is not camouflaging to us i'm just saying the more we know god the more we can experience that trust so in moments where where god is taking me and i'm trusting god and is almost like he's making me take a redirection or making me go a different way or he's making me even or he's even challenging my plans i can have peace in those moments i can know, i can be rest assured in his in who he is and not be wary or concerned because i know him because i know him and in those moments i can go back to his word to say this is god if god's doing this is going to take me through so i'm today i'm going to remind us that god is saying to each and every one of us know me so you can surrender and in your surrendering i will direct your path so trust god to lead you god bless you